Hey, I just got this little um, word of advice for men. Don't date married women. Now, the problem is you want to date a married woman, but she's probably got kids in most cases. Now, when you date a married woman, you'll end up having to share time with her and her kids. Um, dating a married woman also um, does not always lead to a relationship. It just usually is sex and attention. Now, I have dated many different women in my time and the married ones that I have met who have pretended to be single just don't cut it. And then when something happens, they go running back to their house, their husband, and you're left all alone on, in the cold. Um, I think that the men should actually collaborate a bit more and not date married women. Now, some of them are very beautiful, you know, regardless if they're married or not. You know, they've got really nice facial features or nice body or great personality. Now, the only idea that I would say is if you meet a married woman and you can't hold back your lust, well, go and meet a single woman or someone who is ready to date that can have a relationship with you. Three things you don't want to do in meeting, meeting a married woman is break up the home, become the next father of the children when you're not ready because you want to date her, not the children. And thirdly, you can do better than dating a married woman. Now, some women work pretty hard, are pretty bored on the internet and they go to date sites and pretend to be single on the date sites. You'll start a relationship with them and you'll hope to meet them. They'll drag it on and on and on. Then eventually out of the blue, you never hear from them again. And you know what? It's because usually they're married or the photo that you're seeing on the date site isn't them at all. Um, it can be a woman of many different shapes, sizes and facial features. Um, so my opinion is, guys, do not date married women. Put them on your off list because um, if you date them, you'll end up wasting a lot of time where you can put that time into a single person or someone who is divorced. And, you know, if they're divorced, it's okay because, you know, they're not going to exactly go back to their relationship um, with their husband or whatever. Now, dating is dating, but again, I'll just say put married women off your date list and try to find single women or women who are divorced um, because married women usually leads you to nowhere um, and a lot of times they're pretty much bored or they're just in need of attention more than anything else. Sometimes the man will get angry at their husband or partner will get angry at you for taking her away. They don't look at it as what she had done but they'll look at it as what you had done that you should have known and you were going to break up the family and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, on Men's Help TV, just a little bit of help to say to men, don't date married women. Um, there's the benefits of not having a relationship and just having someone to have sex with. Well, that's right. Um, but the, the point is... In the long term, in most cases, many um, men have had a lot of heartache because they get pissed off. You know, they can't spend the night with the girl because she's spending the night in bed with her husband. But during the day, you're having your little romance. So, yeah, you get isolated yourself as a man, um, which, you know, you don't really deserve it. You know, having living that type of lifestyle each night, you got to sneak a, a, a quick sleep in relationship during the day and at night you got to be alone or why not have a woman who is available than a woman who's saying oh i can't tell him yet oh you know it's not the right time i want to leave him for you you know there's all these little um bullshit things that go on too anyway um i hope this turns out and Again, don't date married women because you'll come up, you'll have heaps of scenarios and excuses. Oh, I've known you for six weeks now. Hmm. Yeah, what's, where's that going to get you?